my brothers, my sisters. Today, the world saddens me. As we have discovered news that will potentially destroy something that could have been beautiful. Call of Duty World War II. This game brought so much promise and hope back into the community. It brought people back. People who left because of the likes of an infinite warfare and advanced warfare and ghosts. They came back because of this game. We were made a promise of realism, boots on the ground, and cosmetic only weapons. But today, we learned a horrid truth. And that horrid truth is, we were told a half truth. Today we found out from Game Informer that these weapons and such and emotes and things are going to be period specific at launch and only at launch. After the fact, it'll most likely change. I don't know what on God's green Sledgehammer is thinking with this decision. They said they'd listen to us, the community. The people who want these games, the people who want progress, the people who want change. And we asked for change. Hell, we begged for change. We pleaded for change. But they didn't give it to us. We were told the truth with them being cosmetic only, but little did we know it was only for launch. However, us as a community, we need to struggle on. We need to continue. Although these changes have been made, and will be made, we cannot let this ruin the game. Please, for the love of God, I don't want this to ruin the game. Please, I don't want to play Black Ops 3 for another year. And as much as I love Black Ops 3, it is my favorite title to date because of the zombies experience being so amazing. It's been two years, and Infinite Warfare just didn't cut it, and I really hope World War II can cut it, or else we may have more issues on our hands than we were originally led to believe. We thought that this was the game that will save us. This is the savior game. This game is the game in the franchise to finally go back to the roots, but I swear to God, if I see one Gangnam style, one whip, one nay nay, and for the love of everything holy, one dab in this game, I will come upon this earth one last day, and I will scream into the air these words. Why are you doing this? Seriously, fucking stop! This is ridiculous! No, seriously, I mean, like, I don't mean to freak out or anything, and, you know, I'm not going to try to over-exaggerate, you know, I just thought that that was uh, something a little interesting to do, something you're not going to see with most people, but for the love of fuck, seriously? Alright, let me talk about this a little bit more in depth, I'm not going to have any music, we're just going to be talking for about under a minute. Link below, this interview that they had with Game Informer, and... They, they broke it to us, third-party-wise. They didn't even fucking, like, announce it. That's ridiculous, man. I... I trust Sledgehammer. I have not lost faith. I'm, like, like as always, I'm in it for the zombies. You know, when they started dabbing in Black Ops 3 multiplayer, I was about ready to kick the goddamn stool out from under my nuke's neck. But then Zimbabwe was like, hey, we got you, fam. And I'm like, oh, thank God. But seriously, though, it's ridiculous. So, I mean, leave what you think in the comments. Go ahead. I, I mean, I don't even care if you like or dislike the video. You, you just, I thought I could try to entertain you. Break this news to you guys. It's shit in my opinion i can't believe that they're actually gonna 
do stupid shit like that. If it's not period specific in a World War II game, that's kind of dumb. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is at the moment, Tony, and I'm going to be very confused. I was just getting ready to pre-order too. Now I'm, now I'm scared.